Good morning. Friends, I welcome all of you again to today's Eucharistic celebration as we start this Lenten season. Today's homily, I titled it, We Are on a Journey. We Are on a Journey. Lent is a special time that We bring so many changes in our lives, a time of renewal, a time that we seek for the face of God, a time we forgive those that have wronged us, a time we make lots of sacrifices to benefit others. In these 40 days, We renew our actions, we review our actions, our words, our attitudes towards one another. And in the areas that we have made mistakes, we come back, say, God, I'm sorry, forgive me. And our God being a compassionate God will open his arms to welcome us back. If a friend gives you a very big chunk of money or decides to pay for a meal for a marriage feast of your son, how would you show a gratitude to such a person? I'm sure you will reserve a special seat for that person or maybe you give that person a special meal to remind him and to thank him for what he has done. That is exactly what happens or the relationship that exists between the people of Israel and God. Each time God gave the people of Israel something, they would try to give something back to God. And we saw that in the first reading of today. In spring, as the wheat began to be ready in the fields, and the trees are beginning to yield their fruits, the people of Israel will fill the baskets with fruits, the first fruits, and they bring it to the altar and give it to the priest. As they give this gift to the priest, they will say, facing the altar and thanking God, saying, I know these gifts came from God. They do not belong to me. Since it grew in the land that God gave to us. And the priest will now take this basket standing in front of the altar, raising this basket, and in silence, facing the people. The people of God, the people of Israel, then they will now proclaim their faith before the priest saying, thank you for all you've done for us. Thank you for your gifts. Thank you for your protection. And they start recounting the events of the past, what they experienced in the land of Egypt. My father was a wandering Armenian who went down to Egypt with a small household and lived there as an alien. But he became a nation, great, strong, and numerous. For all you have done for us, for bringing us back from Egypt and for giving us a land 
flowing with milk and honey, we have come to thank you. And the priests will bless the basket. What happens to the fruits? Are they burnt? No. They are eaten. Eaten by who? The representatives of God. And the representatives of God that eat these fruits are the poor, the Levites, the barren, the foreigners, the orphans, the widows. These are the ones that receive these gifts. As a matter of fact, the feast is considered successful and pleasing to God only when the needs of the poor have been satisfied. Only when the needs of the poor have been satisfied. And so the people of Israel, they were very happy and grateful to give back to God what God has given to them. As we begin this Lenten journey, think of the gift that God has given to you. Think of ways that you can give back. Think of the difference you can make in the lives of others. Think of those that you are better off. The people of Israel were always very happy that these gifts went to the poor, the needy, the orphans. Think of the little things that you can do in this Lenten season. Remembering that your gift to the poor is a gift back to God. And at the end of the season, we stand to give thanks to God. Let us begin this journey in the spirit of gratitude to God. And at the end, that light will begin to shine in our lives. Mm-hmm.